Thank you for participating in my lecture. I'm Professor Hong Kun Hyun from Seoul National University in South Korea. Everyone wants the primary teeth to look natural like this photo. This picture was my daughter's, by the way. But we happen to meet unfavorable restorations in our clinic. I have tried to find a better way to restore the primary teeth more aesthetically. Everyone loves the aesthetic restorations. The CIE color system is commonly used in perceptual studies for dental color assessment using measurement devices. Color differences are determined between two points in color space by this equation. Actually, I have several spectrophotometers, but it was difficult to measure the color of a primary incisor accurately because of their small size. Luckily, I found an intraoral contact colorimeter shade INCC having the elastic proof with 2.5 mm in a diameter, which can directly measure even the small area of the primary incisors. I have used this device to measure the colorimetric values in several studies, and I have been satisfied with the accuracy and reproducibility of the results. So I started to measure maxillary primary incisors using this device. This is my daughter again. I investigated the distribution of color coordinates of Korean maxillary primary incisors from a scientific point of view using this colorimeter and the CIE color system. This graph shows the distribution of CIE values of four incisors. We can see all their colorimetric values for within the small range. Also, we found that most labial color differences among incisors from the same person were clinically acceptable. As you can see, uh, the low co correlation coefficients shows or weaker linear relationships between age and colorimetric value. I decided to investigate the colorimetric value of various shades of commercial legend composites available in Korea in order to find the best color matching composites for primary tooth. So I selected 21 dental restorative materials assumed to be matched well to the color of natural primary incisors. I fabricated them into strip crowns and measured the labial and mesial distal middle third using the same intraoral colorimeter. These are my candidates for the best color matching composites. And these are their colorimetric values measured. And I compared them with the uh, mean values of natural teeth. Letter A, B, C stands for uh, maxillary central incisors, letter incisors, and four incisors respectively. So I uh, so the best candidates were selected for each incisor by calculating the color differences. The smaller color difference delta E AB indicates the better color matching. So I published in Korean Journal that those composite resins matched well to the natural primary crown to color. I made a strip crown using G100 P shade and placed it next to the natural incisor. The colors did not match well. G100 A1 shade did not match as well. 
However, Metapel CXA1 shade matched well. A straight crown using Charisma Ester looks harmonious with the natural incisors. I compared them together. You can see the differences. Hero's Culture Company provided Charisma Composite Resins having peculiar shade names of uh, Superlight. SLT stands for Superlight Translucent. SLO stands for Superlight Opaque. Can you tell the difference? I'm going to show you some of my cases. I restored these anterior teeth using SL shade of Charisma Composite. I restored a lateral incisor with A1 shade of Metapure CX Composite. This case showed four restorations for anterior incisors using SL shade of Charisma Composite six months after treatment. I used to study optical properties for new dental materials. This is another one. I used uh, SRO shade of Charisma Composite to restorations for maxillary incisors in this case. I removed the old and unesthetic anterior SS crown and made two central incisors using SRO shade of Charisma in this case. I made two restorations for central incisors with SRO shade of Charisma Composite. This girl, aged one year and nine months, got treated with SRO shade of Composite Resin. I treated four incisors with Charisma SRT. For this boy, I restored his four incisors with SLT shade of Charisma. These anterior teeth were restored with SL shade of Charisma Composite. Here is another case with Charisma SLO Composite. Another case for Charisma SLO shade. This is a Charisma SRO case, treating six incisors. Also, sometimes I tried to use Charisma SRT composite like this case. In this case, I restored the two central incisors with Charisma SRT composite, while I treated two lateral incisors with Metapil CX A1 out of curiosity. There was no aesthetic problem eventually. There is another case with Charisma SRO composite again. Sometimes I reshape the rotated teeth by adding more composite to the defected tooth area. However, the cell restrip covered composite surface has several drawbacks. Let me explain it by the uh, illustrations. When composite is cured in the presence of uh, celluloid strip, a resin rich layer uh, surfaces on top. A resin-rich layer uh, gives a very uh, smooth and glossy look, but this area has a higher tendency of discoloration uh, due to lower physical property on the surface. The hardness of resin-rich layer is low because oxygen inhibition 
rare still occurs uh, which interrupted in uh, into the composite and restriction in monomer movement between the celluloid strip and um, and the composite surface may hinder the uh, polymerization of the celluloid strip covered composite surface This regenerative layer dissolves in the, the older fluids, denuded the filler particles, thereby making the surface appear rough, rough and plaque can accumulate on a composite surface more easily. So, proper finishing and polishing procedure decreases surface roughness. The procedure can make the uh, composite surface harder, more wear resistant, and more aesthetically stable. Also, every uh, composite restoration should be finished and polished in order to improve surface micro hardness. This is one of my publications in the dental materials. In the study, uh, we demonstrated that initial micro hardness values generally increase with increasing level of polishing for each composite. The restoration after finishing and polishing properly still remained sound without severe discoloration or a wearing uh, three months after treatment in this case. These restorations had stayed well three months after treatment. This state was three months after restorations. This was three months after treatment and this was seven months after restoration. four months after restorations and uh, seven months after treatment. This was seven months after treatment and then uh, this was 13 months after treatment. Five months after treatment and six months after treatment. five months after treatment and 10 months after treatment. This picture was taken 18 months after treatment and then this was 22 months after treatment. By the way, traumatic injuries to the primary anterior teeth occur frequently. Crown discoloration is one of the most common post-traumatic complications in children. Several studies have demonstrated that about 50% of discolored teeth can regain normal color if the vital pulp absorbs the blood pigmentation. So I decided to investigate the tooth color change after trauma based on the experience of the previous study. This research was published in the, the International Journal of Pediatric Dentistry. Um, in the present study, there was an increase in A, uh, which rep represents red when positive. Earlier then, there was a decrease in L which represents a uh, dark black uh, when negative. Also, CIEA returned to the control range in less time than uh, did L. CIEB, which represents a uh, yellowish discoloration, stayed within the control range until one year after injury when it increased uh, slightly. Consequently, each uh, sequential change in CIE color coordinate 
could represent a linear progression of discoloration from pink to gray to yellow over time. This was one of my cases that showed the longitudinal color change of post-traumatic primary incisure. As you can see, this boy had a pink discolored crown at his first visit to our clinic. After a month from the first visit, the color of his crown has changed from pink to gray. After four months, an unfavorable dark yellow uh, discoloration of the crown was detected out of the normal color range based on my study. So I decided to treat uh, the most discolored incisor. This is the way I treated the discolored primary tooth having purple pathosis. Let me show you the procedure. I removed all the inflamed pulp tissue and I irrigated and dried it. I inserted Vitapex uh, paste, which is idofoam plus uh, calcium hydroxide paste in the corner, corner, and I covered the, the uh, Vitapex with Compermor ionosite. And I uh, filled inner enamel layer with Metapel CX composite. And then I filled the dentin area and parotid surface with G250 uh, UD shade uh, composite. This is another case to treat the um, discolored primary tooth crown. Thank you for your time and attention. Uh, let's meet again at the next lecture.